boarding house North Shore. On the Hawaiian island of Oahu lies the most notorious seven-mile stretch of surf on Earth, the world-famous North Shore. It is in this mythological place, surfing the biggest waves in the world, that legends are made and lives are lost. Right there, I just started praying to God, you know, I hope I'll be all right. Once a year for two months, it becomes the surfer's mecca of partying all night and surfing all day. Every night, chaos, fights, a whole deal. A tight-knit community living life on the edge, where everything focuses on surfing, and the locals make the rules. I'm not sure about the Wild Wild West. I wouldn't say that we run it, but we definitely police it. This year, seven of the world's top young surfers will live in one house on the infamous Surfer's Row as they chase the half a million dollars in prize money and the glory of the greatest achievement in surfing, the band's triple crown. The friendship ends when we hit the water. It's every man for himself. There'll be rivals in the water and roommates on land, coping with the pressures of competition and everyday life. Three world-class events, seven professional surfers living under one roof. Previously on Boarding House North Shore, seven of the world's top young surfers moved into a house on the north shore of the Hawaiian island of Oahu to chase the glory of the band's triple crown of surfing. But there's already tension in the household. And for surfing's tough guy, Sonny Garcia, can appreciate people in my life. He just can't seem to stay out of trouble. While Holly Beck focused on winning the competition, Veronica got the party started. And Playboy Danny poured up both on and off the water. I've kind of just been partying a bit, having fun, basically. On the first day of the Hawaiian Pro Competition, the first jewel in the band's triple crown of surfing, an injured Sonny Garcia scored an impressive victory and moved into the semifinals. While Miles suffered a disappointing defeat and was eliminated from the Hawaiian Pro Competition. You make one wrong mistake and that could cost you the whole heat. Tonight, the Roxy Girl and the Yoga Girl will go at it on the water in the first elimination round of the women's competition. surfers and we're getting paid to do a job. Hello? Hi, Dad. <laughs> what are you doing? I think I might. Today. I've been getting up at 5.30 every morning because the day I have to surf, I can never like sleep in because I know I'm going to have to surf. So I've been getting up early and sort of making some coffee and checking the swell on the internet and Yep. Veronica, she went out partying with the girls. She's just not really taking it very seriously. Which is not really a surprise to me because she's not in a contest there, but she's just doing it to do it. Veronica's a great surfer. She decided to sort of go the model route instead of the competitors. I think there's sort of a weird thing in the surf industry. It's like you're a model or you're a surfer. And there aren't very many people that have been successful at both. I haven't really competed or 
you know, been that serious about it for a couple of years now because I've just been able to free surf. Surfing was my pro the priority. Surfing was, you know, that was my dream, you know. It wasn't modeling. It was like modeling was a means to an end, you know. I'm excited but nervous too because I haven't really competed and it's a whole different mindset. You surf differently for contests than you would if you were free surfing. I guess it's just fell in love with surfing. I'm confused. I think I'm losing my mind. Your boards are in the back of Sunny's car. And they are. In the back of Sunny's truck, because we took that car this morning and didn't want the boards back there. Oh, I was like, I swear I put my boards in here last night. Let's go. It took us like half hour to, you know, get all our stuff together. You know, I forgot my sunglasses. I forgot this. Are you gonna bring them all right now? Why? Because I don't want to take you back into the house. Just to fill the car. That's all right. Let's just do it. So we want to always put that seat down. Let's just go. Because um, I know how long it takes me to get ready for a contest, and and I have my routine of what I like to do. And when you are forced to sort of deal with other people, it just adds that extra little bit of stress. That sort of thing is a little frustrating because, you know, not only am I have to worry about the contest, but now I have to worry about getting there because of somebody else, you know? Sure. Came in pretty happy. I'm running up the beach, you know. These guys walking behind my wife. When I saw the guys coming up, my whole intention was to, you know, make it as mellow as possible, let them keep walking, because I saw Sunny like five steps behind them. And I just knew what was going to happen instantly. Um, they looked, Sunny saw, and he got upset. I walked up. Had a, had a good look, look at my wife's crotch. I gave him a good open hand. I basically was walking down the beach after surfing, and a uh, guy comes up to me, I guess, with Sonny Garcia, and said I looked at his, his wife's ass, and basically, before I even knew it, he hit me. From you don't do that kind of things, you know. It bothers me just because I don't I don't like to see somebody love fight. You don't like to see somebody get hurt, and it's just pointless too. I think I just think that it's like, what's the point? I mean, people are gonna look my whole life. They're gonna look at all girls. I wish it never happened like that. You know. I would have basically uh, I would basically wanted to say I'm sorry and shake his hand and watch him surf. I'll be the first one to tell you, yeah, she's a beautiful woman. I know that a lot of people are going to look at her, and that I have to deal with 24-7. But like I said, I can deal with it, you know, sometimes, sometimes I can't. And unfortunately, he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. school we started surfing at the same time and like I started to, he got better first because he was stronger and then yeah. I started getting better and he just like hit a wall and never got any better and we, it was seriously one of the reasons we broke up because he couldn't handle it. So funny. I think you almost need to have somebody that you could be like like to surf. I reckon I think I'd like him to either like not surf, you know, <laughs> then then but then not then be a kook, yeah. <laughs> but you can go on trips together because you go on trips and you'd be like, let's go surf. Oh wait, you can't. Let's go. Oh wait. Yeah. You know? no, like let's be... go to the beach and you can sit I on the sand. Surfing has given me a lot of confidence. Growing up, my mom was saying you can't do this. You know, if you're a girl and you shouldn't be doing this. And I always felt like I was sort of doing something wrong, but I'm good at surfing, and so it validates what I do.
and welcome to the elimination heats of the Roxy Pro, the first round of competition, the first jewel in the Women's Triple Crown. The Women's Triple Crown begins with the world's best surfers competing at Hollywood's Elite Beach Park for the first jewel, the Roxy Pro. From there, the ladies move up to the other end of the North Shore for the Turtle Bay Resort Women's Pro, and the final leg of the Women's Triple Crown goes to the neighbor island of Maui for the Billabong Pro. Yeah, I'm glad we're serving. I'm actually excited to get out of the water and just do it. Yeah, Holly, how do you do it? Holly, she's definitely, I think, like driven and like pretty determined, and you know, she's like she's aspiring to, I think, really have a, a solid competitive career. My first wave makes a huge difference on how I do in the rest of the heat. If I get a good first wave, I will do well, and if I fall on my first wave, I usually don't. Winds are kind of fierce. It's going to be challenging out there. The top six surfers who do well in today's competition move on to next week's Roxy Pro Finals. Three, two, one. Surfers in the six-woman heat are Cena Saramir in green, Romy Asagawa in black, Kim Aldridge in red, Robin Davies in yellow, Claire Bevilacqua in blue, and Holly Beck in white. Ladies, you've got 30 minutes to show your stuff. Best two rides will count. Judges are looking for speed, style, and power. And ladies, size does count. The bigger, the better. In white, Holly Beck, very aggressive out there. In a good way before it closes out. Right when the heat started, I'd gotten a wave, I felt my board, I felt what the wave was like, sort of gave that extra confidence, so that started it off. That looks like Holly Beck again in the white, and guess who it is? Holly Beck, current leader of this heat. She's got some style, she's got some strong moves. Here's Holly Beck, 22 years old, out of Palos Verdes, California. Surfing for only eight years, this national amateur champion is beginning to make her mark on the pro tour. And with a degree in psychology, she's definitely figured out what's going on out there with the competition. Right now, she has the lead. Rider in red, veteran Australian surfer Kim Woldridge. And right behind Kim, it's Holly Beck aggressively carving it up. She wants to keep the lead. In third is Claire. In second is Kim Woldridge. First is Holly Beck. She pretty much was leading this heat all the way from the beginning. In three, two, one. Holly's making her way in, a clear winner, virtually a perfect heat. California's Holly Beck moves on to next week's Roxy Pro Final. I bet she'll also be one serious contender for the second jewel of the women's triple crown at Turtle Bay. Nice. I feel good. I'm glad I rode the bigger board out there for sure. It helped just to get into those sets. So I got that first one and then I just got in rhythm and every set I was in the right position and it just worked out. I'm stoked. Yeah, I, yeah. I want to win, huh? I feel that thanks. If you want to win, it hurts to lose. You know, I'll give it my all. For sure. Coming up, Veronica's late night partying could lead to an embarrassing lesson in surfing 101 when she takes on the challenge of North Shore competition. Oh. Wait till you meet his brother. Winds are really picking up as our next elimination heat for the Roxy Pro Finals is about to start. And there's Roxy Girl, team rider Veronica K making her way out. All right, surfers, 30 minute heat. Best two ways will count. Five, four, three, two, one. Some tough competition in this heat. Emmanuel Jolie Thomas in red. Sarah Beardmore in white. Yvette Bertelman in green. Jody Nelson in blue. Alyssa Dragon in yellow. And Veronica Kay in black. Veronica Kay has been with Roxy since the age of 15. Now at 21, Veronica takes on her first North Shore Triple Crown Challenge. Paddling back out is Veronica Kay, who unfortunately just got her first lesson in North Shore competition. Not a good start for the Roxy girl. From France, Emmanuel Jolet Thomas in red, carving away through the inside section. And off the back, in green, it's Hawaii's Yvette Bertelman. Up now, but not for long, Veronica Kay, she goes down. And on 
out the back. Beth Bertelman taking charge. She's going to show us how it's done. In the inside, it's Jody Nelson effortlessly carving away down the line. Now out the back, Veronica Kay. One more shot. Oh, she gets nailed. Oh. Event now in the first place position in this heat and in six, Veronica K. has a difficult learning curve. And today, Veronica paid her dues. Counting down. Five, four, three, two, one. Looking at the overall results of today's competition, we saw Holly Beck with a flawless heat, and she advances to next week's Roxy Pro Finals. Unfortunately, her North Shore roommate, Veronica Kay, isn't so lucky. VK will have to wait to redeem herself. something encouraging but it's not really a lot you can say like I did I went over and gave her a hug and said you did good and she says you don't have to lie and and she was sort of right that was shocking oh, that was so awesome. I fell on every single way I was trying to stand up on and then just like no your first one was good no no oh yeah it was well, and then I went, good. went to come back down from it and then there was that girl was there and I yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you killed it. You got like every way you were on it. That was just you need to get into a rhythm where you don't. And, yeah. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. Right. I don't know if I'm meant to do it anymore. <laughs> yeah, the crash, yeah.
I think the house is cool. It's mellow. It's a really good experience, you know, for me, myself personally, to be living with guys like Miles, Sonny, Damien, you know, just from what these guys have to say or just surfing with them, every aspect, you know, it's for the good. Sonny and Miles, they're both really well-known, well-established, respected surfers, and so for Danny to be in the house with those two guys, it's going to teach him a lot. The battery and the thing's dead. Uh, okay. I couldn't believe how fun it was out there. And I rode a little bit bigger board than most of the other girls, so I could sit a little further out and sort of just wait for the sets rather than fighting for those middle ones. I think that made the difference too. Yeah, so, thanks. I could have won, I swear. <laughs> the one part of me is like, always feels like I have had to, like, I need to still prove, like, like I, you know, but I don't, yeah. Maybe hey, that's just a personal thing, like, where I'm, like, curious, you know? Yeah, no, I have another shot, huh? Turtle Bay. Maybe I'll have a little bit more hours of surfing under my belt, too, after being here. When are you going to get out there? I don't know. Tomorrow? Tomorrow? I... I had some knee braces over here in the back of my truck all the time, and I, I thought they were fine, but I guess they're all you know, kind of beat up. No, they, they're all broken, so I got injured three times this summer. In the beginning of the summer, I, I blew out my ankle, and then I came back to re-hurt my ankle and my knee, so I was out for three months. Shaved the knee up, some tape, it'll be good. Yeah. Been there before. Been there, done that, huh? And your dog, the dangerous dog, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Sonny Garcia was on the world tour before I started surfing. To be able to be a good surfer is one thing, but to be able to be a good surfer for 15 years is it's pretty crazy. And I hope I can do it. You know, I really look up to that. It's definitely flattering, you know, to know that the young guys want to follow in my footsteps. For the most part, I, I, I don't think I'm a bad guy. I mean, and I've done a lot of things that hasn't made me proud. I don't regret them, but, you know, I, I would like to think that I've done a lot of good things that the kids can follow. professional surfing and I'm loving every minute of it, you know. This is this is the dream for me to make a living off the ocean. People really trip out about that. I mean, what what I thought surfers were just bums, you know, and here they are, they're buying houses, they're living they're living nice lifestyles and they're supporting their families and you know, I couldn't be happier. <laughs> I always wanted to shoot for this, you know what I mean? It all, it all kind of happened, so I mean, I'm pretty stoked for sure. It's definitely uh, living the dream, surfing, traveling around the world, just playing basically and getting paid for it, you know what I mean? So. There's a lot of terms in surfing that people who don't surf don't necessarily understand. We sort of have our own language. Cook, Barney. It's just, you know, somebody that basically doesn't know what they're doing in the water. I think it's anything really good, like a really good wave that's sick. Mushy. 
It's just like burger. <laughs> Basically, my shit sucks. You have a, a solid wave. It's a big, thick wave. It's, uh, it's powerful. Yeah. So, I, um, that's just the way you get when you from surfing. Coming up, the Roxy girls throw a wild party, but Holly's frustration with VK erupts when she gets left behind. VK, where are you at? There's no compromising with her ever. In the refrigerator, it's good. Didn't quite make it. <laughs> I heard too. Not ready, I guess. Okay, bye. Do party at the Roxy house tonight? You know you want to go. You guys are invited. The Roxy party, probably a bunch of drunk, underage, yeah, females. Yeah, they're coming to me up already. Each sponsor's house definitely has personalities, and even those change through the different weeks depending on which team riders are staying here. But the constant is, of course, the Roxy House. <laughs> Whenever they have a party, it's really exciting because all the boys that are here know all the Roxy girls and other models and they're there and all we'll the cell go. BK, this is Holly. I was hoping to come over there, but you guys both took cars. All right, well then, uh, right, talk to you later. Bye. I Okay, where are you at? Call me back. <laughs> Bye. Okay, where are you at? Mmm, little brown. The other day they did that, so they like, I wanted to go to Holly Eva, uh -huh. and they were just like, we're about to bail. Like, I ran down and caught them just in time before they were leaving. I was like, hey, I want to go. I just don't think they want to go. There is no compromising with her ever. Like, she, when she wants to do her thing, she's going to do her thing. Oh, there they are. Bye, bye. bye. Oh, he's sorry. Oh, that's all right. You look cute. You still want to go, though, yeah? Maybe you'll be over it. Sonny's going to go. Sonny and Rainer are going to go eat and James. Uh, oh, yeah? Maybe go there and then come over later? Yeah, whatever you want to do. I, I just don't have a... We have both the car. I know. That's why I'm trying to get really frustrated with that kind of, you know, what are you guys going to do? Oh, I don't know. And then the next thing you know, they're just gone. I'm trying to get into want to go with us and then drive back here. Is that right? No, doesn't matter. Like, I'm, like, usually not so, like, anal and frustrated and, you know, what are we doing, what are we doing, what are we doing? But because I'm used to hanging out with people that are capable of answering that question, you don't have to ask it ten times. of entertainment. It's not my personality to be a Roxy girl. to be asked all the time. She 
can't, just doesn't have an answer and doesn't like to be asked, and I want an answer. <laughs> We definitely need to solve it. It's a big deal. It's not a huge deal, but it's a deal. 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 And if there's other people around that you can ask the answer to, or that you can ask the question and can answer, then it's fine. All right. Um, here, Holly, you can have these keys. Black part? No, that's the silver. Where'd you find it? It's right there in Chelsea's bag. Perfect. Thanks for so that. That's done. And, like, I can hang out with Veronica depending on the group that we're in. Otherwise, it's difficult. Servers, 20 minutes before 7, the van's Hawaiian Pro will go. 8 to 10 foot surf, and it's on the rise. The first jewel of the men's triple crown continues today at Ali Eva Beach Park. The next contest, I think I'm serving for Sunny. It's pretty scary. A little bit smaller, but still some sets. I just need something to bring out of that. I think it's got a little stormy on it. I mean, the biggest competition that I have is myself. I mean, only me and me myself can win or lose a heat. So it's just a matter of me doing what I what I know I have to do. Aliva Beach Park. This is the last day of competition in this, the first jewel of the Triple Crown of Surfing, the Vance Hawaiian Pro. First up, semifinals. A lot of careers at stake here today. Those waves aren't going to make it any easier. Surf is a solid 8 to 10 feet. I wouldn't say I, I'm going to put any more pressure on myself than I do every year. It's just that I know I'm getting to that last stage, so I'm going to make you know make it all worthwhile to me. Make sure that I'm giving 110% the whole time. And, um, I try my best to stay uninjured. Um, when the conditions are like, if I just get scared, I get scared just because it's big and sunny is obviously not a hundred percent, so I just get a little scared. You know, me, I worry. Obviously, I'm his wife. It's terrifying. It's huge. You know, and it's supposed to get bigger too. Coming up, Sonny and Damien face off as the competition for the first jewel of the men's triple crown heats up. But Sonny gets severe cramps in his back, which could cost him a victory. Enters the water like an injured warrior. 23-year-old, six-year pro Damien Hopgood joins Garcia out there. It's old school power versus new school flash. Oh my great Roommates Garcia and Hopgood are both determined to get out of this four-man heat. Even though it doesn't seem like a lot of luck, the person who knows the spa, knows the ocean, has an advantage. Filling out the semifinals are Australians Mick Manning and Tom Whitaker. They'll have 35 minutes to prove their stuff. Their best two ways will count. Top two pros advance to the finals. So it's funny being from here and being the best surf in the world. Basically, he wants to go on a wave. He doesn't want you around. And you gotta respect that, you know. Surfers counting down. Five, four, three, two, one. It's heavy at times. I mean, I'm not going to say that as soon as you hear the horn, friendship's out the door, and it's all about me and you. Anything goes that you can get away with. Here, McBann is wearing red. Tom Whitaker in blue. Damien Hopgood in yellow has got to hold his own against the surfer in black. Sonny Garcia already up and running. Garcia with a big gouging cutback throws up a wall of water. You'd think Sonny would surf more conservative with his injured right knee, but he is charging. Okay. Here we go, out the back, surfing yellow, Damien Hopkins. Damo out of Satellite Beach, Florida, 5'8", 150 pounds. Light knee, quick reflexes, beautiful hook off the top, sets up now. The wave is going to wall up, 
goes to the top, floating re-entry, spectacular for Hopgood. It's Sonny Garcia again, trying to solidify his lead, and even though that right leg is injured, it's not holding him back. He seems to have plenty of power. Oh. Eight minutes and 25 seconds remaining. Garcia in the lead. Looks like the pressure's on Damian Hobgood to make good. This wave could make a difference. Unfortunately, on the inside, the wave fizzles out. A tough heat for Damo. And out the back. It's McManny, the 21-year-old fourth-year pro. Sets up for a big bottom turn. Big move off the top. But is it enough? Here's Tom Whitaker. Whitaker is just blowing some minds. Whitaker, big, powerful off the top. Here it is. Critical way for Damian Hopgood. Come on, Damian. Hopgood battling back, but it's probably too little too late. Hopgood, unfortunately, is in fourth, while his North Shore roommate Garcia is in the lead. Semifinals coming to a close. Three, two, one. Official results, Garcia first, Whitaker second, Fanning third, and a hot good at disappointing fourth. Congratulations to Garcia and Whitaker. They move into the finals. Coming up next. First came in, I can barely walk. Well, my muscles in my lower back are just cramping up. Feeling good. Back feeling me. Get the doctor's crush on my back. My shoulders, my back, everything was kind of kind of acting up as well as my knee. The more muscle you have, the, the more tendency your your body cramps up. My knee's not bugging me, so now my back is bugging me. So, it's a battle. It's not really so much about your other competitors, it's about you and the waves. There's waves out there, there's good waves to be had, you know, and I didn't catch them, and, and, and even the waves I did catch, I felt like I didn't even, I did bad on them, so I deserve to lose. Starting next, the finals for the Vans Hawaiian Pro. You know, this is my backyard and knowledge is everything. I'll just take my knowledge and hopefully I can start my run for my sixth Triple Crown title. Kind of hard to take bets on this one. Garcia has been surfing under a lot of pain. Does he have enough endurance to take him through? I like to compete. I enjoy going out and beating people. I enjoy just going, please God, just send me one wave and I'll show these people, you know, what I'm capable of doing. Surfers, here we go. 35-minute heat. Best two waves will determine our winner. Counting down to start. Three, two, one. Surfers in this heat. In red, Jake the Snake Patterson. Along with fellow Australian Tom Whitaker in black. Hawaiian Andy Irons in yellow, who might be Sonny Garcia's toughest competition. And there he is, Sonny Garcia in blue. He moves his way over from the channel and gets a great wave. But look at that cover up. Garcia pulls off the perfect barrel and he snaps it off the top. Is this guy injured? I don't know. I can't tell by the way he is surfing. The five time Triple Crown champion opens up with a huge wave. <laughs> But look who's coming after Garcia. The surfer in yellow is Andy Irons. Unfortunately, the wave starts to close out, and Irons has to explode through the lip. Here we go, Sonny Garcia. Casual takeoff. Straight to the bottom. A double pump bottom turn. Oh, look at the huge gouge off the top. And Garcia pumping down the line. He can generate speed like a Formula One driver. Garcia, another big hit off the lip. 
Sonny Garcia backs up that first barrel ride with a spectacular second ride. Sonny Garcia. Take a look at the score. Sonny solidifies his lead over second place. That's Jake Patterson. Ladies and gentlemen, Sonny Garcia is leading, but it may not be a slam dunk victory. Here's Jake the Snake Patterson out of Western Australia. He's got a beautiful wave. Look at this out the back. Garcia surfing like he's not in the lead. Sonny already has two awesome waves, but still getting it hundred percent and connects a great series of turns. The remarkable Sonny Garcia, an injured Sonny Garcia, surfing in pain, but still a force to be reckoned with. Now 15 seconds remaining. It's Patterson who's now giving Garcia a run for the title. But it's Garcia doing whatever it takes to win. Garcia wins. Triple Crown, he's winning it, remember? Yeah. You know, the experience paid off. He knows what he's doing out there. He's the man. He won't give up. Boy Garcia, winner of the Van to One Pro. Congratulations, Sonny, heading towards his sixth Triple Crown. I know once you win one event, that you usually have a good shot at winning the Triple Crown. So I know exactly what I need to do. I know exactly how to win. I know exactly what I need to do on every single wave and how to compete against every single competitor on the tour. Sonny can perform well at any spot on any given day. And for me, having done not too well really gives me a hunger to do do well. I still have a shot at winning the Triple Crown. I have to do well at Sunset and then do well at Pipe. But anything is possible. It's just a matter of going out and getting the right waves, being in tune with the ocean, and performing. This morning I went out and had a really good surf session. You never know. This, this year might be my year. South North Shore. Holly's housemate turmoil continues, but this time it's with Chelsea as they face off at the Roxy Pro Finals. She is such a good surfer. I definitely want to do at least as well as she does. Yeah. After a hard loss at the Hawaiian Pro, defending champ Miles Padaka now focuses on the next jewel of the Triple Crown at the notorious Sunset Beach. Sunset's a super moody wave, I think. It's constantly changing. And meanwhile, surfing is the last thing on Sunny's mind when battle lines are drawn over for surf politics. Tonight's Boarding House North Shore featured music by Social Burn.